Okay, I want to do a really quick video on adventure packs. These are little 18 card um, booster packs that you can purchase for Iron Helm that allow you to sort of continue your adventure. So if you're able to win the base game, you can move on to a level 2 dungeon and then on to a level 3 dungeon. Um, each deck comes with very similar type of cards, but um, each one is very unique and has a bunch of cool different things in it. So I'm going to go through both these decks that are, are available right now with this crowd sale. So you have a level two, which means it's the second adventure you'd go on after the base game. And then you have a level three adventure here. So let's take a look at what comes in each deck and give you a better understanding what, what's going on here. So in this level two deck, a Warren of Despair, there's a little um, narrative about the story of what you're actually doing. And then it tells you here what cards you have to remove from the base game and, re and what you're replacing them with from um, this deck. So you're basically making the, the base game more difficult by adding more difficult creatures. It also gives you some new items and other things. So let's take a look at that. So once you go through the little basically your instruction card here, on the reverse side, there's a brand new map. I discussed this in the tutorial video that each adventure um, uh, pack comes with a new map that you can use that's sort of thematic to the quest that you're on. So this one's sort of got little ice shards and stuff in it and they go along with this cold mountain theme. Now, you also get in every one of these boosters a new boss monster that you're going after. So when you do this quest, you when you get to the end, you're actually going to have to fight this guy. You're not going to use any of the mechanics from the base game. You're actually going to have to fight this guy here. So you get a new boss card. You're going to get new monsters. These are going to be replaced. They're going to replace some of the monsters in the base game, and they're obviously going to be more difficult enemies for you to face. So you get these guys here. You have three of these guys. Another cool thing is every one of these booster packs comes with a new character card. And this new character card will have all new stats. Um, these can be used to play in the base game too. So basically it's, it's expanding your game. So now you're going to have new trappings and new skills. So this will be a whole new character you can use to start the game from the beginning. Um, and because it has a new character, there's also a new skill. So each new character that's added by these boosters uh, they're going to have a new unique um, skill that you can add to your um, um, skill deck that you already have from the base game. So you're expanding how many skills that all your characters will have access to. Um, here's two new trapping cards. Every one of these boosters comes with two new trapping cards. Sometimes they're used by the new character and sometimes they're just new trapping cards that you're going to get to add um, to your um, base game. Um, this guy here, um, Oslo, he starts off with the Battle Axe. So the Battle Axe is included in this booster pack. Um, you're also going to get new loot cards. Now you can see this loot card is not a loot at all. This is actually a Frost Mimic. There's a, a Mimic card in the base game. This is actually a nastier version of that card. So when you're looking for treasure, you might actually stumble across this guy and get into a fight that you weren't expecting. Um, a couple... So every booster comes with four new loot. This one obviously comes with an enemy in the loot, but also you get an energy potion in this one, a lucky charm, and a uh, throwing star. Lastly, every one of these booster packs is going to come with f uh, three new um, plot cards. Now in this starting card here, it's going to tell you which plot cards to remove from the base game and you're going to add these three in place of them and they're going to give you um, different types of scenarios here. So um, it, it's just going to add a whole lot of new flavor to the game and more replayability. So that's a lot of stuff for 18 cards and each one of these is going to retail for uh, $5.99 um, after the crowd sale but during the crowd sale I'm going to have these on sale for $4.99 now let's take a look at this, the Blackened Burrow. This is a level 3 um, booster or adventure deck. Again, it's going to tell you what cards you need to remove, what enemy cards and plot cards you need to remove from the game. It's going to give you a little bit of a story about why you're going to this place. And then on the back, it's going to give you another unique uh, map, which gives you another place you can use um, for um, keeping track of what dungeon level you are on. Again, a new boss monster to fight, the Hive Mother. She looks really friendly. And then you're going to get five new enemy cards. This one's going to give you the Embermander. 
You got two of those and you have ember wasps. As you can tell, this is a sort of a fire themed deck. So you're gonna, if you have a, a weapons that do frost damage, you're gonna do pretty well here. And again, you get a new character card with this deck. This one comes with Quora, and she has a cool school, uh, skill called Hawking, and here's that new skill that she has. And like, I don't know if I mentioned that, there's a new skill card for Oslo. Should be in here somewhere. Maybe it got mixed up in this other deck. We'll come across it somewhere. There should be the skill of, yeah, Axe Mastery. So yeah, this, this deck also comes with a new skill, Axe Mastery, which is, it goes with Oslo. Um, but anyone can use it if you want to learn it with another character. Uh, Quora has the Hawking one off the, off the um, bat. It has sort of a luck-based sort of skill that allows you to get to find gold coins or find food or something on, uh, when, on each level of the dungeon. She also has a uh, special trapping, which is the Alchemy Satchel, which is shown right here. So it's included in this booster. It's pretty cool items. It's a trapping card, so you could uh, per possibly purchase this. When you're starting a new character, any character could possibly add this to their um, items or equipment. Also, you have the Cutlass as another trapping card. Now, I believe that's a trapping card, yes. You get four new items with this booster pack, just like every booster pack. This one gives you some really good items because we are in a level 3 dungeon, so you're going to get some really powerful stuff here. You're going to get uh, Grub Rot's Fang, a really powerful two-handed sword. You have uh, Morthal's Orb, pretty cool thing here. Let's see what this does. Whenever you draw a skirmish card, you may look at the top enemy card before choosing to resolve. So it gives you some flexibility. Um, you have uh, Rema's Remedy, you have Madman's Helm. And then, here's a fun little twist. We have three new plot cards, just like every other booster will have. But one of the plot cards in this game in this particular booster is actually another enemy, a pretty nasty enemy, the Fire Scorpion. And he only gives you one eyeball, so he doesn't really help you progress to the, to the boss monster. So that's a pretty nasty card to have shuffled into that um, plot deck. So that's, I just want to give you a basic idea of what came in it. Um, each one of these boosters, I think you can see that for 18 cards, you're getting a, quite a bit of content. Um, again, they're going to be $5.99 after the crowd sale. They're going to be $4.99 during the crowd sale, so it's probably a good, good time to get them. And the, like I said, when the tutorial video, there are um, divider cards in the base box. So you can, there's already a spot for these boosters and the next uh, four that go after this. So for the first six boosters, there's divider cards already in the base game. So I hope that video helped give you some information about the boosters. Thanks for watching.